Appetit. Dinner is served. For all you have done to return Peach Blossom Spring Cavern to what it was before the Emperor's reign, this is but a small gesture of thanks. What? Small? Proto slaved over a hot pot all day to create this feast. Voila! You call this small? <laughs> I'm not sure what to call it. Very funny. Here. Sorry, looks like dinner's gonna be a little late. The plate. If we have some time, there's something I've been wanting to ask you about. And what is that? Everything! Where did the Emperor come from? What were the Eastern Caverns like before him? That is a lot of questions, and it is a very long story. Come on, June Jay. The kid's dying to know. Yeah, tell him the story, June. It was epic and amazing. All right, but to answer all your questions, it would be best if I start at the beginning. The story begins 88 generations ago in a land called China with my ancestor, Yang, a great archer. Yang lived at the time of the first emperor. The emperor was a cruel and evil man, obsessed with finding the mythical elixir of life, a potion that supposedly granted immortality. The emperor cared little about the lives of others. In fact, he believed all others lived only to serve him. Yang refused to kneel and earn the Emperor's wrath. There was nowhere in China safe for Yang now. Yang floated on the water, unconscious, the current taking him wherever it flowed. Yang discovered a mythical place that wasn't a myth. It was deep inside a holy mountain. Yang passed through the waterfall and found a secret grotto that led to an even greater secret. Peach Blossom Spring Cavern, the most beautiful and tranquil land Yang had ever seen and a place he would soon call home. In Peach Blossom Spring, Yang created a refuge for people to escape the harsh rule of the Emperor. But the Emperor hated that there was a place outside of his control. He hunted day and night for Peach Blossom Spring Cavern, but it was well hidden. Yang and his people soon discovered they were not alone. There were others who had long lived in the caverns. Most were friendly. Some were not. But Peach Blossom Spring had its defenses as well. Slugs. Yang discovered dozens of different kinds. Frost crawlers, geo shards, bubbly oaks, even an infernus. And watching them, Yang, a great archer, also a master of ancient martial arts, got an idea. He combined them with this new art to create slug food. Yang protected Peach Blossom from all dangers it faced. The first Eastern Champion. The people of my cavern were safe and happy for many years, until one- The Emperor found Peach Blossom Spring Cavern? Yes. And thus began the battle for my home. A struggle that would take 2,000 years to reach its end. 
In defense of the caverns, Yang garnered many enemies. One such scoundrel, a greedy rogue who wanted revenge on Yang, returned to the Emperor's realm above and revealed the hidden location of Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. Only my ancestor Yang and his slugs stood in their way. The Emperor had powerful magic. Yang faced the Emperor's magic. The powers unleashed in their battle were so great, they ripped a chasm in the very floor of Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. Using his slug food, Yang had won, but the Emperor was not finished. He fell 18 levels underground, and there, he landed in a pool of the vile liquid you know as Dark Water. The Emperor had long sought immortality. Now, the Dark Water gave it to him. But it was a cursed immortality. The Dark Water corrupted the Emperor into something stronger than a man, and also something less than human. The Emperor had been transformed into a monstrosity. Infused with the corrupt energies, he gained abilities no man has ever had. The Emperor used them to forge a new army of warriors out of the molten rock, and then bring them to life. The Emperor's stone warriors were soulless automatons. They existed only to obey. He ordered them to climb up to 19 levels of Earth to Peach Blossom Spring. But the stone warriors could not enter Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. From below was blocked by a guardian gate built by the Shadow Clan. Mysterious creatures who live in caverns' shadows. The gate was powered by guardian slugs. There were eleven in all a thresher, an aqua beak, a taserling, a ram stone, a vine drill, a frost crawler, a tornado, a hop rock, a fright geist, a flatulent hinkus, and a boondock. Each guardian was once a normal slug. But through careful training by the Shadow Clan, they gained a level of power few other slugs can match. Together, they used their energies to power a magic seal in the center of the gate. It prevented anything infused with dark energy from passing through. Including the Stone Warriors and the Emperor himself. As long as the slug energy remained strong, he could only seethe. And so, Yang, and all of his descendants after him continued to use Slug Fu to keep Peach Blossom Caverns safe. And so it went, until my day, my time for my family's duty to pass to me. I told you that excellence requires you try your hardest until the results match your effort. And now they have... Choo Choo. This Infernus has been passed down from Yang himself through 88 generations of ancestors. It belongs to the defender of these caverns. And now that is you. I was now the protector of Peach Blossom Spring. <laughs> the Eastern Champion. I prepared to face every threat that arose. A much greater one was growing down below. The Emperor had not threatened Peach Blossom Spring Cavern for close to 2,000 years. The only things keeping him going inside his dark imprisonment was his hatred for Yang 
and his desire for vengeance. Slugs rarely ventured that far below Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. He used the vile powers of the dark water to corrupt slugs into monstrosities. Recalling his battle with Yang, the Emperor got a dark idea. Using his magic, he forged a great weapon. A weapon imbued with his dark power. A sword. A sword that could fire ghouled slugs. Guardian slugs get their strength from the magical energies that flow between them. It took the Emperor years to goon enough slugs, but eventually, the damage was done. So many slugs turned into goons. The slug energy that powered the seal on the Guardian Gate was failing. Huh? The gate could no longer hold back the Emperor. <laughs> Some spring will fall. The Guardian Gate. What do I do? You lead. Follow your training. Listen to your instincts. Trust in Juju. He's been through this before. Yes. Okay. We must rally the others and form a defense. There. Yes. But I will gather the others and mount the defense. And you, you must go on the offensive. <laughs> I was the Eastern Champion, the protector of Peach Blossom Spring. I had trained every day of my life for this very moment, and now I was about to confront the most evil and powerful enemy I would ever have to face. destroyed. Back to the 
village gate. Send it from Yang! <laughs> Impressive. You have his slug, and you fight exactly as he did. You honor me. <laughs> nice trick, but I've seen it all before. in the goon's dark energy. I could feel it corrupting me from within. He said. After that, I spent many dark years under the goon's control. Until my friends saved me. And that, of course, is where your story really begins, because that is when you met Bruto. <laughs> 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 
And with my help, smashed the Emperor! He's not coming back, is he? The Emperor? You have nothing more to fear from him. Yeah, after what we did to him, kid, he ain't never doing anything. And you all have the protection of the Shen Gang, the Istor Champion, and, of course, Pronto! Help me, Master. Show me what I must do. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. 